Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is your July 2019, what aren't they telling you? We're gonna be examining what the person you're connected with isn't telling you for the beautiful sign of Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Virgo, you already know we're not sugarcoating on The Marvelous Show. So here's the thing. The good news is, is yes, your partner wants to marry you. But you already know what they're not telling you is, is that what they want is time with you. Time away from the rigmarole, time away from your everyday rigmarole, back and forth. Now, they want holiday time together. They want a retreat. For those of you, couple, married, wherever you are. But they, they're having some reservations. I'm going to tell you why they're having some reservations, okay? They're having reservations and they are trying to remain optimistic. When a person feels this strongly, okay, they're madly in love with you, want to whisk you away from the rigmaroles and the stresses of your everyday life lives together but they're thinking negatively there's a reason why i see it but stick around now first and foremost they started out feeling one way and things have shifted the reason why their feelings have shifted has been a variety of things and i feel like your partner is feeling like this isn't there's parts of this connection that they didn't sign up for and it's parts of the connection that they didn't sign up for and it's based on the way you handle things now before i get to the bottom let me go ahead and give you a little bit more The bottom line is, is they feel like you're, you're, you're controlling too much of this. There's something, if, if you're not being controlling, now let go of control issues. Listen, you may not be sitting around like a teacher saying, we got to do this and we got to do that. But there's something in this connection that your partner feels like, or the person you're connecting with, I'm, I like to think as a partner, there's a honeymoon card here, feels like you will not allow the situation to unfold. That's an issue, okay? They are having to feel, to, to think, opti to be optimistic, and they keep telling themselves they're being guided. Okay, it's safe. This is safe, you know? But... They started out one way with you, Virgo, and they slowly began to retreat. They're having the issue with certain parts of this. Let me finish. They have a tremendous amount of passion. You are the one. But there's something, and this is a peak of the past right here. This is a peak of the past. Now let's talk about now. They're constantly trying to remain optimistic about this relationship okay but you guys have to work on your partnership there are some things in here like i said it goes back to control issues listen if you have to work on your partnership that word right there then one person is trying to do the thinking for both of you okay Somebody possibly isn't expressing how they feel. So your partner knows that you're lying about something or there's something that you're not saying. Okay. The attraction and, and the passion is there, but this isn't enough. Okay. They're constantly in their head consulting with people behind your back, not in a bad way, people that they trust. They're being guided divinely, okay? This is good news, but I'm just giving you the business. I'm, I'm giving you the tea. They're being constantly guided to stay the course. It's going to work out. Don't leave, Virgo. You know, um, I don't think leaving is an option, but they don't have faith anymore. Put it like that. They just don't have faith. They're in love with you, but they're having a hard time remaining faithful to the thought that you're going to get married. 
That makes sense? Let me tell you why I know that. Bottom of the deck is the moon. They keep going back and forth. Water is here. This is a major iconic energy for Pisces, okay? They'll go wherever you want them to go. They will follow you into a volcano, uh, Virgo, but they don't trust something changed, okay? I'm going to continue to ramble, but something changed. And whatever changed here, they're not, they have no faith that you guys are ever going to get married. That's why they're here, Virgo. What did you promise? That's why they're here. That was dangling. This is what we're going to do, baby. Boo, bae, whatever. Now that's not the case. Something has changed. You know this isn't getting clarified, so fill in the blanks. They're having a fluctuation of emotions. They're having some issue with being faith, not faithful to you. Faithful to the idea that you will make good on your promise. They proposed, you said yes. Okay. Um, plainly put, the person feel like they took a leap of faith on you and rearranged some things in their life for you, Virgo. And they're having a hard time. So they are acting against their natural self. Temperance is here. Major arconic, en en uh, major arconic energy for Sagittarius. Fire. What they want to do is get a little crump. And maybe act out their frustrations a little bit. Not with nobody else. On you. They might want to not violence but they you know they might want to they feel like they want to strangle you they're frustrated naturally so now they'll follow you to the end of the earth they'll put all of this to the side let's let's go this is the bottom of the deck see that right there let me just before i get into this energy let me give you a peek of the past the peak of the past is this there was an offer that's the page Maybe that's a child, promise of a child. Will you marry me? The answer is yes, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I'll marry you, baby. But the conditions is blah, blah, blah. There was something that was being waited on, okay? And when that something was waited on, this person gave up everything. Everything for you, okay? And now they feel like you don't know what the hell you want. You got a choice to make. But that's not what we discussed. How dare you? Oh, I hear it. I hear it. Like, wait, what? Now you don't know? You juggling all of these areas of your life? And now you don't know whether you want to marry me? But I'm here to make things better. Now you don't, you don't want to make a decision. Stop hassling you. It's a peek at the past. Okay? That's what I'm saying. Those three romance angel oracle cards, that was a peek at the past, and these work perfectly together. You see what I'm saying? They're trying to temper themselves to deal with this. They're very hurt. Now let's get into why. This is them with their offer. That's their king, king of cups, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is them planning with the three of wands. They wanna go dig deep, okay? They have been planning you guys' future for a long time. You were okay with that. Okay. Cycles are about to change. Okay. They want to give you the world, but this card is a metaphor for what they felt, what they feel about you, what they want to give you, and what and they they feel like you can conquer the world together. They'll follow you into a into a burning building, into a hurricane, regardless, but they're unsure. This hair font right here indicates uh, directly this institution of marriage, okay? And then if I tell you one more, it, it give you one more institution. This is ascending to the higher level of commitment, and that is what they want to do. They're having a hard time remaining optimistic because of some things that have changed. And um, I feel like it has something to do with money. There's some money issues here. 
there is the five of pentacles. Okay, so now we get to the bottom of things. There is some money issues. They feel left out in the cold. They don't feel a part of what's going on, Virgo. There's too much going on here. What is represented in these pentacles? That your partner does not feel a part of this. What are you juggling? Look at that. What are you doing? What changed that now makes you operate upside down? Got the, listen, upside down in a decision. Enlighten, look, look, don't you dare act like you don't know what's going on. Enlighten, I'm gonna stand, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit right here, upside down, suspended in the air. I don't got to make a choice. Oh, uh, um, um, you do. <laughs> I'm just trying to say something clever. Oh, yes, you do. There's going to have to be an expression. I feel like it will hurt this person. First of all, this person is hurt. But I'm starting to get a little bit of the person's insecurities. They feel like they're not good enough. So I'm going to say this three more times before we hit the 15 minute mark. Virgo. They're hurt. They don't feel like they're good enough. Also, there's been some sickness between you guys. Somebody's sick, surgeries, an illness. Maybe that situation made the person feel like you were not there for them. Maybe this sickness is what happened and now they feel like you think they're sickly and maybe now you don't want to get married. Something happened. Money, sickness. Whatever it was that took the, the, the focus off of being married and together, something has you in hangman hey mode, which is the reason why they're hurt. Okay. It has them insecure now. They're trying to temper themselves so they don't act irrationally. They're trying to temper themselves so they try to understand where you're coming from because they love you. They've already offered you this cup, this ring, and the promise of a new day. But outside of these two cards, they haven't been focused on the honeymoon as much. They've been focused on mainly what they're not telling you because they know that you will not receive this well, but they've been focused primarily on their mental. They feel bad that their thoughts these two right here, they feel bad for thinking this way. They never thought that they would think like that. There is something here, and they're constantly saying, we got to work on this, we're a team. And they constantly get shot down because you make them feel like you're holding all the cards, like you're the puppet master, and they don't. They will go along with this because they love you, but it makes them very insecure. And, of course, this is the moon card, fluctuation of emotions, the thoughts that they feel in the dark. That have not come to light. They are though. This eclipse is coming. Okay. This is the moon. And it's going to be a full moon eclipse in the sign of Capricorn. It's coming. Okay. I don't see a talk. I don't see a talk. But um, you know. It's going to come out Virgo. You're not stupid. You're, you know. That this is how your partner is feeling. Okay. I feel this love and this right here is very telltale for me because although they may be feeling a little insecure, they have to keep their head afloat. Um, they could feel like they're not good enough for you financially. They'll follow you into a burning building. They will follow you to the end of the earth. 
They really will. And a lot of it is they don't want you. They want to remain. How do I put this? If this is a man, they want to remain held in a positive light with you. And if this is a woman, they want you to know that they will do anything Virgo men, but they don't want you to take advantage of them. Does that make sense? And there we have it. So that's what they're not telling you. Okay. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I certainly hope it resonated with at least one Virgo out there. This was beautiful, but uh, I just tried to give you the game. So hopefully you, you know, get a hold of this before it gets too late. If you want to contact me, all of my information is in the description box below this video. If you're watching this video on any other social media platform, you will find my information. Like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. I will see you guys here next month when we do it again. And if Mercury Retrogrades gets, gets me out of a chokehold, then you may get one more video prior to this month being over. Bye, Virgo. See you next month.